The time will come when, with elation, you will greet yourself arriving at your own door, in your own mirror, and each will smile at the other's welcome and say, sit here, eat. You will love again the stranger who was yourself. Give wine, give bread, give back your heart to itself, to the stranger who has loved you all your life, whom you ignored for another, who knows you by heart. Take down the love letters from the bookshelf, the photographs, the desperate notes. Peel your own image from the mirror. Sit, feast on your life. In this poem, Walcott attempts to get those of us heartbroken following a failed relationship to pull ourselves together, to learn to love and appreciate ourselves again. By properly focusing on ourselves, life can become much richer and fulfilling. Past mementos of pain need to be banished and instead we need to open the gates to the joys of self-love. When we think of greeting, we invariably think of interactions with other people and showing them respect and appreciation. The persona suggests that at times we need to do this to ourselves and not in a perfunctory way either, but with elation, with great joy. And we shouldn't just greet ourselves once and forget about it, as implied by the parallelism in line four. We need to greet and self-love ourselves at our own door, in our mirror, as regular reminders about our own value and worth. The fact that this self-love is something to be taken incredibly seriously is illustrated by the incorporation of terminology taken directly from Christian communion. Eat, give wine, give bread. The Christian communion is a time to reaffirm our belief and faith in God. Within this poem, we need to metaphorically eat, give wine and give bread to reaffirm our belief and faith in ourselves. This needs to take place because if we're not careful, life and failed relationships can result in a disconnect within ourselves. We need to listen to our own inner voice, which is there to love and guide us if only we accept it. Something has gone wrong if this voice has become a stranger. And our own identity affirming, self-loving inner voice has always been there and has loved us all our lives, something the persona reinforces through the cross stanza on Jean Beaumont. Emily Bronte in Love and Friendship shifts to purposeful imperatives in the latter stages of her poem. And Walcott does the same here with the instruction for us to take down the love letters from the bookshelf and any other toxic reminders of a painful past in which our sense of self has been corrupted. Note the overall structure of the poem with stanzas getting progressively shorter. This reflects our need to strip back superfluities from our lives, to simplify, in order to provide our inner souls with the time and focus required to restore our lives to happy contentment. When I think of peeling, I normally think of stickers from Sports Direct purchases, in which I'm keen to hide the fact that some trainers I bought for one of my sons cost 25 quid rather than 60. However, Walcott is surely thinking of the need to discover and uncover tiny bit by tiny bit what we are as human beings. We need to peel our own image from the mirror in order to go back to basics and appreciate every part of our body and selves. Such an act is essential for regenerating self-love. Those who take the time and space to reflect and self-love are left with a veritable banquet to enjoy in terms of life. Sit, feast on your life. Explore what love after love says about love and relationships. Time to plan using the grids. Get started. Yes, it's pause time. Love after love presents self-love as important above all other loves in life. 
you will greet yourself arriving at your own door. A spiritual dimension is important in life, not only in understanding yourself, but also in facilitating deeper relationships with others. Sit here, eat, give wine, give bread. Moving on from past relationships is essential to ensure healing and future happiness. Take down the love letters from the bookshelf, the photographs, the desperate notes. In my model paragraph I write, love after love presents self-love as important above all other loves in life. The first stanza includes the striking phrase that at some point you will greet yourself arriving at your own door. Arriving at your own home is typically something functional and routine, which isn't thought about. Whilst the notion of greeting or welcoming politely, enthusiastically, your own self initially seems bizarre. However, Walcott is clearly aiming to stress the fundamental importance of appreciating and loving yourself in order to live a more fulfilling life and to facilitate moving on from heartache. The suggestion is that this can begin to take place by applying the same courtesies and consideration usually applied to others to your own self. 